Hello everyone, it's the <clears throat> 11th April 2022 and it is currently 9.30 a.m. and I'm wearing for the first time ever to uni, I mean in a long time, a black hijab. The reason, I, the reason why I'm wearing black is because um, I'm wearing a lot of oil in my hair and that might ruin my light colored hijabs. So that's why I just basically, you, I'm just going to wear something black so that it's going to be easy for me and it's not going to mark my scarves or hijabs. And um, I have a few things to say today. <clears throat> First things first, I would like to mention to you all that today is my term one exams results day and I'm not excited at all. I'm actually feeling very, very nervous because it actually came out at 5 a.m. But it is currently around uh, 9.30 a.m. and I still have not checked. Um, I think I'm going to check later on in the day. Uh, I don't know why, I just like to do this because it actually builds up and prepares me to actually open my results. So I'm going to open a bit later. And people have been messaging me um, <clears throat> uh, from my law school telling me or asking me more like how did my results go and stuff. But I don't know what to reply to them because I haven't even checked myself. So I'm going to have to like, you know, delay all of that. Another thing that I wanted to show you um, is the fact that um, I should not show you but tell you is that today I'm going to be focusing hopefully and try to get done some preparation work or consolidation work for my commercial law and employment law specifically. Not media law, media law I can start from tomorrow but today's main focus is employment and commercial law as much as I can and do that. And um, <clears throat> where i'm going to um do my consolidation and also hopefully open my results um is actually in a library that i found um next to canary wolf which i'm not really going to mention because i don't really want to say the location and then i regret it and going then so i want to actually go there for a span of time and then i'll let you guys know if that library is actually worthy of um for studying and stuff so yeah that's basically pretty much it and um yeah i cannot yeah, I'm feeling really, really nervous when it comes to my results because a part of me thinks I failed, a part of me doesn't think I failed. So it's a very confusing situation going on inside my body and inside my mind. Um, it's like a tug of war almost uh, where I'm feeling like I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping for the best and I'm hoping all my friends and uh, friends that I have actually have done uh, the exam have done well but obviously I'm not going to be sharing with you all my results straight away because I want to share with you all, all my scores and everything uh, when the final final result comes out which is um, I believe on the December or something because then I'm going to give me an idea of how much I got I will be able to tell you guys um, you know if I got distinction merit pass whatever that is and that would give a more um uh, a more in-depth view of my results rather than giving a little bit every single um, here and there throughout the year. So that's the, basically the main point of why I'm not going to be telling you guys my results or specific scores and stuff. I already got my practice legal research and writing, uh, um, solicitors accounts, advocacy and wills and administration and interview and advising on March. I think it was the second of March. And today is for the property law, business law, drafting and pcr so um that's basically pretty much it and in terms of litigation i'm not really sure so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm going to the library
April 2022 and it is around also 10 past 9 and I just uh, woke up in the morning at about uh, I would literally say half an hour ago or something and uh, this is how I'm looking which is very very moisturized I would say this is not oily skin but this is literally moisturizer on my face uh, because my skin gets really really dry if I don't wear uh, moisturizers um, straight away so yeah this is how i'm looking right now and uh, today i do have my lessons so i do have workshop 8 i believe for employment law from 10 30 a.m till 12 and then from 12 to 1 30 i do have a media law workshop as well so this is the plan for today and in terms of um how am i feeling about the course so far so um i cannot believe that in the in the next four weeks is going to be my last four teaching weeks which means that after these four weeks i'm not going to be having any more lessons or i don't have to attend any lessons anymore because after that there's no more lessons needed anyway so i'm feeling quite weird about that because um Although as much as I want this course to be ended and I want to graduate, um, I cannot believe how far I've come and how fast the time has gone by, which is very ridiculous. Um, and I cannot wait honestly to finish this four weeks so that I don't have to attend any more lessons and I can just, um, you know, go um, according to what I like to, when I want to go and stuff and when I want to actually revise. And in terms of revision, I've been doing very, very poorly um, in terms of revision for term two exams and it has gone worse than I expected because I thought I was going to be on top of it and during Ramadan and everything and also because I had two weeks off in the past two weeks that's why you guys didn't see a vlog coming out in the past two weeks during Easter time because I was very slacking off um, I was feeling very tired and I did not manage to do any kind of revision whatsoever but I'm gonna be starting on from today hopefully and I do not have enough time honestly um but i know i can do it and my exams are on the 6th 9th and the 13th of june i think the 6th is the media law one then the 9th one is the employment law and the 13th is the commercial law one so these are my exams and then i do have um a dissertation to do as well um i'm gonna start doing that honestly um once i feel like i have done enough consolidation for um, term two exams so that gives me enough time to actually um prepare for it and everything and read around the subject and everything like that because my one is is on media law so um yeah so that's basically pretty much in terms of um, the llm dissertation and also one thing i wanted to say is that um i feel like it's time now for me to really focus on also my careers and attend career appointments and all those kind of things because i don't want to leave it till september because there's going to be a pool of students doing the same thing which is applying for training contracts applying for this and that so i don't want to leave it till the last minute so in the month of may i'm going to focus on making sure that my cv and my personal statement and whatever that is my cover letter are basically done to the t and done properly so that when so once my term two exams are done i can just start doing whatever i can and look around law firms and everything like that so i don't leave it to the last minute because i don't want to do that especially as someone who does not have um, really got that much legal experience it's very very important that we start three to four months before people who do have experience in a way so that's very very important in my opinion and i just hope i do my term two exams really well hopefully because um i'm really counting on them because those are my option modules i chose these modules ultimately and if i don't do well in these that doesn't really make sense why did i choose these so i think that everybody who's doing the term two uh, modules right now whether that's employment law commercial law mergers and acquisitions equity and finance whatever that might be I, I i know that many people are depending on doing really well on these especially if they didn't do the term ones really well and i realized somebody asked me last week oh what did i get for my term one exams or results um um, as I said before, I'm not going to be sharing my term one results as yet because uh, I like to give everything in one go. So whatever results I get, I will say in one go for all the subjects and all the modules in one go rather than saying, oh, in term one, I got this. And then five months later, I tell you my term two. That doesn't really make sense to me. So I want to say one everything once and for all and what I get and everything. Um, it would be lovely to get a distinction but i'm not aiming for a distinction as yet um for this um uh, course because i know this course is very time consuming time pressurizing and very um hard in terms of challenging wise in terms of content wise as well so um it's not like your um sorry it's not like your average uh, llb degree here so 
yeah so that's i think that's all i have to say so now i'm gonna go and attend my employment law workshop which i think is gonna be about discrimination law and then i do have a media law and then i do have to do a few things personal things after um and i also have to print out some slides of workshops um in terms for consolidation purposes so that's what i'm gonna do now and i'll see you guys in the city law school building Hello everyone, I just finished my employment law um, workshop and it was actually pretty good. And I was actually supposed to have at 12 p.m. a media law workshop as well, but I'm going to change it to 3 p.m. just because I want to go home and I have to do a few things as well to get it done and over with. So now I'm going to go home essentially, but before that I'm going to print out some um, employment law workshop slides so then I can work on it at home as well. And um, I was feeling really, really sleeping in the morning because obviously this was a very new routine for me to really wake up at A and come to school and stuff. I mean, law school, of course. And... Um, it was very very hard for me to gauge and do that but now what i'm going to do is print out the slides as i mentioned before and then i'm going to leave um to um to do some personal things that i hopefully hopefully pray that they don't want to take that they won't take that long and after that i'm going to go home straight away and then i'm going to make sure that i um get some sleep maybe like a one hour or two or something like that and then i'm going to start working on unfair dismissal for the employment uh, law workshop because i believe that part is definitely going to come in the exam like i'm 100 percent sure that it's going to come up so i'm going to make sure i work on that and also before i filmed this video i was chatting to my friend and it was very very lovely to see her after i would say two almost three weeks uh because she went back to uh back to her home country and she had a holiday basically almost which is very unfair uh and yeah i'm so so happy for her that she's back and i saw her today and it makes me feel really special and good and i feel really reconnected with her all over again so yeah and now she went to basically um do her own things i'm gonna do my own things as well and leave from this place as soon as possible Hello everyone, it's Tuesday of the week which is the 26th of April and this is around 1.30pm or more or something like that and I just wanted to share with you all what I've been doing since the morning but what just one second. So as I was saying before, um, I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing since the morning and that is basically um, I woke up in the morning at 9am and I did some revision for employment law and that's all I've been doing since the morning and now I just finished praying and now I'm going to head to City Law School to do a little bit of more revision because I do have a lesson at 4.30 till 6pm which is the commercial law. I think it's a workshop 9 I believe and I cannot believe there's only 5 more workshops left for workshops left for each of the modules that i'm doing for term two and uh, i also i don't i suddenly had an idea two minutes ago um 
that I should film a video on how my Ramadan went this year um, make it like a Ramadan review kind of a video and let you guys know my honest truth opinion about how my Ramadan went so far um, all this while and I'm planning to film that actually on Friday um, just because um, probably either saturday sunday or monday is going to be eid so eid al fitr um so i'm really excited and i really really hope from the bottom of my heart is on monday because it's a bank holiday it's a nice day as well and i also do a part-time job on the weekend so i don't really want to like you know miss my work for eid and at the same time i also don't want to miss eid so i wanted to be on a day when i don't i don't have work and there's also no university on monday as well because it's a it's a bank holiday as well so that's a win-win so there's a lot of gonna be a lot of celebration and everything stuff so that's basically um everything that i've been doing since the morning i just wanted to share that with you all and um and again, as I was saying yesterday, I cannot believe I've only got four weeks left till my lessons where I have to attend lessons for my legal practice course. Um, it just feels like it was just yesterday. I still remember September the first day and the first time I ever vlogged how cool it was. And I met all these people and everything and the teachers are amazing and everything. So I just cannot believe um, it is basically almost coming to an end. But that doesn't mean it's coming to an end for my education because ultimately um i have still got still got till september to be a student because i'm going to be doing um my llm of course and also uh, my civil litigation and criminal litigation exam as well on the i think it's the 22nd and the 23rd of august or something and um, which I'm not excited about at all, but I'm going to try my best to do well in all of my exams, whatever I can do. And that's always should be the aim to do your best and not to compare your scores with anyone else except yourself and how you were yesterday. That's what I believe in ultimately. And also after my commercial law workshop, I'm going to be doing some shopping in Tesco, grocery shopping, because my mom has asked me to actually buy some fruits for our iftar. Uh, during our iftar, um, recently we started eating fruits, which is an absolutely golden idea, because I think it really gives me a lot of energy as well. So I'm going to buy a lot of fruits after the workshop, and I'm going to take you guys all to my local um, Tesco, and I'm going to buy all those fruits. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the city law school. everyone i'm now in one of the advocacy rooms as you can see me right there <laughs> so now i am in one of those advocacy rooms and i don't really feel like to do any kind of academic work because i've invested so much time on that in the morning um i'm not sure what i might why, what i might want to do but i might want to do something like um that is a bit on the career side maybe i'm not really sure so let's see what happens and how i feel and everything about it and i'll see you guys maybe half an hour later hello everyone um in the past i would say one hour one hour and a half i have been doing some kind of research on um you know career tips and everything like that for people who, who are studying law degree and stuff and i was doing all those kind of things and I lost track of time and now I just read a little bit of the scenario for um, uh, what I'm going to do for the commercial law workshop, workshop nine, I believe. And it is basically all about franchising and commercial agreement. So I don't really know um, um, how it's going to turn out because I didn't really prepare for this. So let's see how it goes. And yeah. Hello everyone, I just had my commercial law workshop 9 and now I'm going to be printing out some stuff for employment law so that I can do some of that work at home and I don't have to worry about coming to the university tomorrow and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. 
hello everyone today's the thursday of the week and the last week of i mean the last day of the week when i actually go to uni and study and everything i'm in terms of lessons wise and today i do have a lesson at 9 a.m uh, which is why it's currently around 7 40 a.m and i'm gonna go to attend my employment law skills workshop which is the workshop 10 and um i'm not sure what we are going to be doing today or anything but hopefully something exciting or hopefully something that um, i'm looking forward to and usually um out of the three modules that i've been doing so far i believe that employment law has been the one that i'm having the most um, interest or like the most fun um, learning and everything um and then i do have a about three and a half hour or was it three or four hours uh, break uh, because I do have a, another lesson at 3 to 4 30 which is for media workshop and I'm not sure what we're doing then and then and there as well um, but today I do did have to wake up in the morning very very early to get ready and everything and I'm feeling really really sleepy uh, but yeah I will see what I'm going to do in terms of what to eat and everything but other than that I'm feeling really sleepy right now and that's the only thing I can say and I'm really unsure if I should buy my coffee right now from Costa or should I buy it later I'm not sure but I will see that I guess and um, yeah so I can't wait to take you guys to uni and do what I want to do and in terms of revision wise I've been trying really really hard this week to get at least um, some work done in terms of consolidation for exams and you know preparing my notes for exams and everything and I've been um, doing that um, <clears throat> and that has been helping me a lot so yeah so now um, hopefully I can also get some work done between my employment and media law workshop as well so then um, I'm not frazzled and I, and I do have an idea what I want to do so let's see what happens everyone i came here at about 8 45 a.m um in the one of the advocacy rooms and now i'm getting super duper late for my employment workshop which i'm gonna go soon because i was doing some um bullet journal work which is to basically create my templates and everything and i did not realize how my time actually uh, passed by so quickly and i also got my chai latte from starbucks which i really really missed a lot and now i'm gonna go ahead and go to the employment law workshop which i'm getting super late about Hello everyone, I finished my lesson at about 10.30 a.m. for employment law and I do have my media law one at about 3. Um, and I'm not excited about it because I obviously had not prepare but in the past one hour and a half I actually did spend um, some time with my friends uh, which was very unplanned because I was planning to do my workshop and you know my employment law work you know consolidation and everything so i did not manage to do any kind of work um, from the past one hour and a half but i'm gonna try and now squeeze in as much as work as i can before three and then from three to four thirty i do have obviously the media workshop and um after that what do i have um i think after that I, either i'm gonna stay um in the library to study a little bit more or i will go home and you know have my um dinner and everything like that but it's most likely going to be um, staying in the library because I really want to get into the vibe of the library dynamics and everything. And at the same time, I know that within, I think in the next three, um, I think it's three weeks now, um, in the next three weeks, um, almost or more than three weeks, um, my lessons are going to end all of them. So I'm really, really hoping that that comes really soon so I can get done and over with these exams. You can tell how much I'm wanting these exams to get over uh, because then I can solely focus on litigation and dis the dissertation as well because that's what's going to be left for me to do till september anyway and i don't have to come um to uni to attend any lessons um it's not that i don't like lessons it's just i want to like get that get these done and over with basically so yeah and uh, now i'm going to focus on employment law and i'll see you guys after the work hello everyone i thought i was not going to get hungry but i realized that i did not eat from the past 
out to 17 hours almost so um i thought that i'm just gonna eat basically and for myself i ordered through uber some german donor which is the box is called um the donor fries and uh, cheese one which i which i really really like as well other than the fries and salad one so i'm gonna have that now because i'm really really hungry and i'll see you guys after 20 minutes of just me eating <laughs> So guys, this is exactly how it looks. I'm totally loving it. My mask has to be adjusted clearly. See you guys after media level. Hello everyone, I finished my lesson for Media Law about half an hour ago and then I went to Sainsbury to buy this which is my one of my trusty drinks which is a Lipton peach one and also the lemon one is really really good not gonna lie but the peach one is the one that I go for all the time so now what I'm gonna do is just finish off some of the employment law work that I was doing that I had to basically stop doing due to the media law workshop at 3 p.m. till 4 30 p.m. and then after that I'm basically gonna go home literally and I'm gonna print some stuff out and I'm gonna see how long I can work for probably for the next I would say half an hour to 45 minutes or something like that and then I'm gonna go home basically so um so that's basically pretty much it for now and i got given some bundles as well from the media law workshop which i would have to basically deal with and everything so yeah so i'll see you guys after the uh, after the workshop prep that i'm doing